Pettis and I am a service man for Arkansas Valley Electric. We all are a part of one mission, if you will. We all kind of like to work towards the same goals. We all try to share the workload, but we also have, you know, different roles and positions and titles. The title of lineman is sought after by everybody from the first day that they start here. You know, we all want to be uh, the guy in the bucket, the guy out there on the pole, the guy doing all the hot work and uh, striving to be as good at it as we possibly can. The main difference is a regular journeyman lineman is uh, under supervision of a crew generally. And then a serviceman is a lot of times by yourself. But as far as the comparison between a serviceman and a journeyman lineman, uh, I feel that we do a lot of the exact same things. We're the main guy for troubleshooting within our area. So whatever district you talk to, our area you know, has four servicemen. You know, they are the main trouble man for their area. So you, you work in a, in a localized portion of the grid, so you're a little bit of extra familiar with how everything feeds, uh, what's going on, what's been off, what went off last time, what it took to fix it, you know, where there may be potential problems, or you, know, you just have a kind of a level up on everybody else in your area. Uh, that we shine at for outages. Yeah, so you know, transition from just uh, just a single man living the bachelor life to you know uh, becoming a husband, and then it began to be a little bit more difficult because I had you know was having to tell my wife bye and being gone for most of the night, all of the night, and then again the next day. I just continued to view it as a responsibility to my job, and then I became a dad. And you know, it's a whole new level when you have that little one. We still go, you know, and that's a part of what linemen do. Almost every one of the guys company-wide, and a lot of us have young kids. And we talk about it out there in the field, you know. Uh, I remember as an underclassman riding around with some of these journeymen. And we'd go out in the mountains for hours and hours on end, you know, and we'd get back to signal. And the first thing they do is pick up their phone and FaceTime their kids. You know, try to tell their kids good night and, you know, I love you and all this stuff. And uh, I thought, man, you know, that says a lot about the guys that we work with. I mean, they literally sacrifice their family life to go out there and serve others. I'll tell you a story. This is something I wanted to tell you on video. So my wife would tell my son Malachi, you know, that daddy's out there making money. And this was a week that I was on call and it was just never ending. Like I would get home for five minutes, my phone would ring, I'd go work for three or four hours. I'd get home for 20, 30 minutes, you know, just enough time maybe take a shower. Phone would ring. I, I hadn't seen Malachi in probably three days at this point. I was leaving before he got up and was getting home after he went to bed. So Bailey was like, you know, daddy's out there making money. And he goes and he gets his little wallet and he opens it up and it's got two dollars in it. And you know, he's like, here you go, mom. You know, tell dad I've got enough money and you can come home. And you know, that will melt a guy's heart. That is, that is a very difficult thing to be out there. Uh, so we quit telling him that uh, just to make it easier for all of us to kind of uh, deal with that. And you know, we tell, she tells him now he's out there getting people's power back on. So my phone can ring for any given reason and Malachi's like, daddy gotta go. Uh, so, I mean, he's, uh, that's a sacrifice of the job. I have made friends that, uh, that are members of ours that I will stop by and, and visit with if I see them out there in their yard. Or, uh, so that's just the most fulfilling part of my career here is getting to have that, that friend relationship. A big part of that is receiving the thanks from them You know, when we restore an outage. Uh, that's just tremendously gratifying. And, equally as much so as you know doing the stuff I talked about earlier you know running a hotline bucket and doing that you get self gratification from that you know we all enjoy that looking at a difficult project and being like you know I contributed to accomplishing that and it makes you feel good so transitioning from that to a serviceman well now you know I get uh, to be out there and just talk to all of the people and it's just amazing to me how many folks 
uh, thank us for what we do. And I, I receive it almost every day.